Video games are awesome. But playing video games too much, can be a bad thing or maybe a good thing, depending on how it breaks out. It's great to do things you enjoy. But can you go too far with a hobby? Or what point does it become an addiction? That's the question experts are trying to answer about playing video games. Although billions of people play video games, the majority of them do not have an addiction to gaming, and the World Health Organization estimates the number of people with an addiction is 3 to 4 percent. The difference between a healthy fun gaming hobby and an addiction is the negative impact the activity is having in your life. Continue watching the video and get to know what will happen, if you play video games for one day non-stop. There are two major types of video games and therefore two major types of video game addictions. Standard video games are generally designed to be played by a single player and involve a clear goal or mission, such as rescuing a princess. The other type of video game addiction is associated with online multiplayer games. These games are played online with other people and are especially addictive because they generally have no ending. Gamers with this type of addiction enjoy creating and temporarily becoming an online character. They often build relationships with other online players as an escape from reality. Video game addiction is a real thing, and like most good things in the world, it all comes down to pacing and moderation. Too much of anything, can take you down in certain cases. Video game designers, like anyone else trying to make a profit, are always looking for ways to get more people playing their games. They accomplish this by making a game just challenging enough to keep you coming back for more but not so hard that the player eventually gives up. In other words, success for a gamer often feels just out of reach. Here's what to look for in yourself or someone close to you. Your partner, your child, or a friend. You need to have five or more of these signs in one year to have a problem. 1. Thinking about gaming all or a lot of the time. 2. Feeling bad when you can't play. 3. Needing to spend more and more time playing to feel good. 4. Not being able to quit or even play less. 5. Not wanting to do other things that you used to like. 6. Having problems at work, school, or home because of your gaming. 7. Playing despite these problems. 8. Lying to people close to you about how much time you spend playing. 9. Using gaming to ease bad moods. Not everyone who plays a lot has a problem with gaming. Some experts say that it's harmful to label people who might just be very enthusiastic about gaming. One thing they do agree on is that the percentage of players who meet the proposed criteria for addiction to video games is small. Most of the time though, when gamers admit to themselves that they are addicted, they do not mean so in a clinical sense, but they are doing it excessively, and at times compulsively, because they enjoy it. Real video game addiction, when a player acquires a gaming habit that interferes with important normal functioning is extremely rare, happening to less than 1% of players. It can be hard to see a problem in yourself. The amount of time you spend gaming might seem fine to you. But if people close to you say it's too much, it might be time to think about cutting back. If you're a parent who's concerned about the amount of time your child spends gaming, look at how well they are doing at school and with friends. Having good grades and a good relationship with parents are signs that a child's video gaming is unlikely to be a problem. Although the existence of video game addiction as a disease is not yet settled in the scientific community, it has been observed that even excessive video game playing have serious negative effects on many. So let's dig into the good, the bad, and the ugly of going into the deep end of video gaming. It can damage your eyes. It should not surprise you to learn that staring at TVs, computers, phones, or tablets for hours on end is not great for your eyes. Computer vision syndrome, the condition affects those who spend several hours looking at screens. It can cause a wide range of problems, most commonly led by eye strain and eye pain. These problems can be exacerbated by low light and bad posture, so if you're settling in for a marathon gaming session, at least make sure you have an ergonomic chair and good lighting. Lack of sleep. A person play video games excessively, this results in sleep deprivation, which is more harmful to minds that are still developing. Their lack of sleep also causes them to have headaches and feel fatigued throughout the day. Especially children, it affects their attention and learning. 
it can alter your brain. If you play video games enough, it can start to mess with your mind, literally. The study looked at brain scans of more than 150 14 year olds. The report noted the hardcore gamer group showed larger volume in the left striatum, a brain area involved in risk and reward processing. In addition, the frequent gamers showed more activity in the ventral striatum when losing money during the gambling task. Children who played more than 9 hours of video games each week had much larger reward centers in their brains, which could make their brains want to play more video games. Irritability, depression and annoyance when unable to play. A very small minority experience withdrawal symptoms like cold sweats and anger, developing migraines and back problems and, sometimes even death. Being deprived of playing time for some kids make them act up and gets emotional about not being able to play. Make you prone to obesity. Sitting around for hours on end with minimal movement can make you more susceptible to health issues associated with obesity. Some indicated that active video games like, sports games, boxing, can have the health effect of a slow walk. Other studies found that those who play video games a lot are more likely to develop obesity from the sedentary lifestyle. The best approach? Try to mix in a little exercise and healthy snacks every few levels. Escaping life problems instead of confronting them. By escaping, it prevents from facing their problems and finding solutions, which is an important life skill to develop while young. Some kids who lead stressful lives find escape in a game's imaginary world. It could mess up your lower back. Video game playing can connect to back pain. There was significantly more lower back pain in children who reported playing video games for more than two hours per day, but this was not so for television watchers. The visual analog scales concerning general well-being were all very significantly correlated with children who reported lower back pain being more tired less happy, and worse sleepers. So if you must play, at least fix your posture. Being deceitful. Excessive gaming can lead a child to be dishonest or deceitful to his parents about time spent on video gaming. In some cases they may even steal physical video games or money to be spent on gaming. Your heart can fail. Cardiac failure, largely caused by immobility, cold temperatures, and utter exhaustion from lack of sleep. Staying awake for days on end puts an extreme strain on your body, and if you're in poor health already, it can prove too much pressure for your heart. It can trigger seizures. If you're prone to seizures, it's a good idea to be careful with your gaming sessions. Factors that can contribute to seizures include photosensitivity, intermittent photic stimulation, and more. In a 1994 study, their first seizure came while playing video games. It's important to note that games have changed a lot since 1994. Physical Problems Overuse of mouse or controller may lead to carpal tunnel syndrome. Other complain of dry eyes, migraine headaches, and backaches. Other gamers also neglect their hygiene. Literally become addicted. Do anything long enough, and it can become a very strong habit that is hard to break. Approximately 8.5% of children who play video games in the United States are addicted. Those statistics held up in several other countries, too. Gentile said the estimates can vary, but most studies found that 4-10% to of children were classified as addicted to video games. Recovery is not always easy, but it is achievable. Video game addiction can be just as dangerous as any other addiction and should be treated as such. The first step in overcoming dependency is being able to recognize that it exists. Gaming addicts tend to be moody and irritable, depressed, physically aggressive, and refuse to go to school or work due to gaming. To be addicted to games is to experience functional impairment in multiple areas of your life, and the long-term effects can be devastating. If you or someone you know exhibits any of the signs or symptoms, please don't hesitate to find help treating a video gaming addiction. Thank you for watching. If you like watching this video, give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. 
For more tips and natural remedies, subscribe to our channel.